As we know, the federal court system is a bit like a pyramid with district courts hearing trials and then appeals courts hearing appeals from those federal district courts. Now, the appeals courts hear well over 50,000 cases a year, so they're really busy. The Supreme Court, however, only hears about 100. Why? Well, because there's only one Supreme Court and all nine justices do have to sit in session and hear the case unless there's a reason for a justice to recuse themselves. So it means that they just can't hear a lot of cases. Now, if there's only going to be about 100 heard and they hear appeals from the federal court system and from the state court system, and they can occasionally hear original cases, this means that they have to have some way of controlling the cases they can hear. And they do. The Supreme Court can decide what cases they want to hear. So what happens is litigants, so pe parties to the case, either the uh, prosecution or the defense in criminal cases, or the plaintiff and defense in the uh, civil suits, file an appeal. And this is called a writ of certiorari. Sometimes um, that's pronounced differently. If you actually listen to Supreme Court justices say this, they don't actually agree on pronunciation. But typically, we just abbreviate this as a writ of cert. And these writs of cert are filed by the litigants, and they basically say why the court should hear the case. Other parties can also file amicus briefs. These are friend of the court briefs, they're called. And basically, they can also tell the court why they should hear this case. And the court then gets to decide. And they generally decide based on whether they think there's an area of federal law or constitutional law that is unresolved. So if there's maybe a conflict between federal and state law that has never been resolved, they might say, hey, we want this chance to apply the supremacy clause here. Or what if there's just a case of maybe a civil liberty that we don't really know yet how it should be handled? Perhaps um, a right from the Bill of Rights that has not yet uh, been incorporated to the states. They might say, hey, this is a great case for us to hear. There's an unsettled area of law. If the law is settled, they may issue a very brief um, statement, basically going remanding the case back down to the trial courts and saying, you need to handle it this way in accordance with this law that's already been settled. Now, if they do want to hear the case, four justices need to agree. So that's a minority of the court, right? There's nine justices and only four have to agree. But that's still a pretty high bar to get four of them to agree to hear a case. So at the end of the day, this allows the court to control its docket, how many cases it hears. And this is how we end up with only about 100 cases being decided by the Supreme Court every year.